Welcome back to the Gnome Show, everyone. I am Josh, your humble host, and it is my duty, nay, my pleasure, to trawl the briny depths of YouTube so that I may bring you the shinies. <clears throat> I cover short films of varying genres, video games, analog horror, and sci-fi, and really, anything else that I think is groovy. I hope you enjoy tonight's offerings, content for the blood god. <clears throat> On with the show. Tonight we have the ridiculously hidden quests of Fallout New Vegas by It's Jabbo. Um, go ahead and give him a subscribe um, and a like. And uh, let's see what he has to say on um, on these 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 hidden quests. In Fallout New Vegas, the player will commonly receive a plethora of quests as they go about venturing through the harsh lands of the Nevada desert. These quests can vary in importance and length, but for the sake of this video, they can essentially be broken down into two categories, being that of marked quests and unmarked quests. To better help explain these two categories and how they differ, I'll use an easy to follow explanation. In the local small town of Prim, there exists a dilemma that the player will eventually encounter. The locals of the town are left vulnerable as their local sheriff department has pretty much vanished and the town has yeah, been overrun with conflict. I know about this one. Your job I'm as the player one. is to find a new replacement sheriff and maybe deal with that convict problem. Or you could make it worse. So this is the first um, major uh, non-story... Uh, like a main story uh, uh, MSQ uh, quest line you can get I think um, you, you could probably like get other ones to start off but this is the first one that you'll naturally run into I think um, <clears throat> uh, that is that you can't immediately solve like you know like uh, relatively right away like, um, you have to do multiple steps that span a good portion of the game before you can complete this quest line uh, but it is kind of cool because it it so if you want to do an ncr playthrough this is the way to go here when you get this quest there is a pit boy journal that provides information on the current quest alongside a quest marker that will move the player in the right direction once you finally find a solution and finish the quest you will receive some xp in a nice little pop-up and it really starts in the NCR encampment uh, just outside of Prim uh, that gets you um, like the first part of the long NCR quest line um, to bring troops to the front line so that they can take on the Legion. Confirming the completion of the quest. Yeah! This is a marked quest. The game is actively letting you know that the quest exists, updating you on important information, and giving you a quest marker that points you in the right direction. On the other hand, once you finish this quest and wait exactly three days, the local casino inside Prim, the Vicky and Vance Casino, will be visited by a small band of mercenaries. This here is an unmarked quest named A Team of Moronic Mercenaries, where you must dispatch the thugs at hand and liberate the casino waiting another three days before it reopens to the player. Which, surprise surprise, is one of the better hidden active casinos in the game. This is an unmarked quest. No pit boy journal, no quest marker, just some small hints, a bit of dialogue, and a nudge in the right direction. There exists a total of 83 unmarked quests within yeah. the base game of Fallout New Vegas. Crazy. Which begs the question, how many of these does the average player come across? What are the most hidden quests in Fallout New Vegas. Oh, this is gonna be good. Sir, yeah. Unmarked quests and can vary in length pretty severely. Some quest is arguably one of the things that makes Fallout New Vegas superior to like the other uh, uh, modern Fallout titles. Quests are as simple as fixing a radio for Trudy inside Good Springs, while some other unmarked quests are actually longer than their counterparts, being long enough and hard enough to be a marked quest in their own right. So keep that in mind going forward. 
I'm going to cover both short and long quests, and I'm also going to start from what I perceive as the more well-known quests of the game, and make my way down to the more obscure ones before the end of this video. With that being said, let's begin. I haven't been to Sloan yet. So almost everyone knows that in Sloan there's these two unmarked quests. One for healing the injured leg of little Snuffles over here, the Mole Rat, and another quest for retrieving a Deathclaw egg from Quarry Junction. These are two yep. pretty cool quests, but did you know in Sloan there was a hidden third quest? That's right, outside of the main mining office, situated in the middle of Sloan, there sits a broken down generator. This generator can either be repaired or scrapped, resulting in the completion of the unmarked quest titled Power to the People. If you do decide to fix the generator, the lights inside the mining office will be repaired and functioning, as opposed to that broken do down that state before. Alongside some extra dialogue from Chomps Lewis. It's nice to see things going the way they're supposed to for a change. I'm going to pay you out of my own pocket for this one. If you want a head start in repairing EDE down in Prim, scrapping this generator is always a good start. Across the Nevada desert, you will often see these tumbleweeds that roll around, blowing from town to town. These tumbleweeds are nothing more than a visual accessory to the game of Fallout New Vegas, but one nightkin didn't get the memo. This is the Wind Brahmin Wrangler quest, in which you can purchase a quote unquote Wind Brahmin. It doesn't take too long to realize he's referring to the tumbleweeds behind him, as this nightkin sees them as some form of cattle. If you wish to purchase these Wind Brahmin, the nightkin rustler will politely ask in return for all of your caps, and if you accept, he'll walk away and leave the Wind Brahmin for you to rustle. This is a peculiar unmarked quest, as it's essentially nothing more than just a funny interaction, <laughs> but a fun little fact about this quest was that on any patch before 1.4.0.525, the Wrangler would also give the player a free stealth boy with the purchase of the Wind Brahmin, maybe suggesting that this Nightkin was ready to turn a new leaf and leave his chem fueled life behind. Huh. You're right, because they won't... <laughs> Moving over to Cat McCarran, we have one Nightkin of the most or, unique um... quests in any of the Fallout games that utilizes the grab mechanic. Why does it take so long to pause? Uh, Nightkin are famously addicted to stealth boy technology and they will never give it up, ever. Um, but in Jacobstown, they're, they're working on it. I'm of course talking about the NCR body recovery quest of a final plan for Esteban. Private Morales, a widowing soldier of the NCR, is seen in distress inside Camp McCarran. It's here that we discover that her late husband, Esteban Morales was left dead inside Fiend territory with the NCR refusing to recover his body, an act that is claimed to be very unusual for the NCR. It's here we can venture out northeast of Repcon just south of Camp McCarran to find his dead body and bring it back to the NCR yep, yeah, checkpoint featured nearby. There are a few fiends here who will attack you, but they're not a big deal. On recovery of the dead body, the NCR soldiers will have this to say. Oh my god, are you okay? You've got to get to a medic. Doc Kemp can patch you up back at base. How could you sacrifice your body like that? You never even met him. If the NCR doesn't have a medal for this, they should make one up. So uh, when I did this quest, um, uh, as I approached the NCR guards, um, a squad of legionary assassins also attacked. And though I managed to suppress the, and the, the assassin squad again, I was also using the grenade launcher, and I, I, I killed the NCR, NCR patrol. Um, but that was after I had turned the body in, so like at least I got credit. Um, but I did lose some, some karma, and um, I got I got to fix my reputation a little bit. So, yeah. And we can head back to Esteban's wife to get more dialogue and a nice little discount on some medical goods from Dr. Kemp. Hey, I heard you were able to recover Morales' corpse. And thanks, you get a discount on supplies. That was a real honorable thing you done there, kid. Much appreciated. However, I do know that this quest is pretty well known, but inside Camp McCarran, there is probably a never unmarked quest that I believe is a little more rare. 
that features the player recovering meat and herbs for a local chef. Pura Meat Never Makes Good Soup is a quest provided by William Farber, the chef at Camp McCarran. Mm -hmm. He wants the too. player to perform free, tedious tasks to bring the food supply of the NCR up to standard. We must find a suitable meat and herb supplier, fix a broken food processing machine situated in the kitchen at Camp McCarran, and also acquire some food additives to make the meals taste that much better. Now this is a tall task and is honestly long enough to be a marked quest entirely. We can set up a meat supply with a variety of vendors across the wasteland, but a good idea is always Blake from Crimson Caravan as he's yeah. more than happy to supply the NCR with a stable line of food. As for repairing the food processor in the kitchen, you can either retrieve this extended list of supply parts to mend the machine yourself, or you could have 80 repair. And as for the food additives, well, I hope you enjoy Fallout 22. Additives. With all the kitchen supplies fixed and the food located, Faber will then offer you a discount on his long list of food supplies alongside some NCR fame. Honestly, this quest is just horrible and the rewards are dog shit, so we're just gonna move on to the next quest. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of quests in Aerotech. The area of Aerotech Office Park is one of the most overlooked areas in New Vegas altogether. A lot of players will simply dash to either Freeside or Camp McCarran once they've ventured past this northern threshold of the map, but Aerotech Park has one of my favourite unmarked quests in the game. If you speak to Captain Parker, the NCR soldier situated within Aerotech, he'll ask you to recover evidence that a local man named Keith has been dealing drugs and partaking in some crooked gambling. You can also find out that Keith and Captain Parker aren't the best of friends, as they've had run-ins with each other plenty of times in the past. The quest itself is fairly simple, as we can just find the cards that Keith uses to cheat in gambling and also confront him about his side hustle of selling drugs. But what makes this quest so special is the way that Captain Parker deals with the findings after our investigation. It's here we can tag along to watch the arrest take place live, like an episode of Live PD, before the unfortunate happens. Keith, in the name of the NCR, I'm placing you under arrest for illicit gambling and the sale of unlicensed chems. Fuck you, man. I ain't going nowhere with you. Come quietly now. I don't want to have to hurt you. Why don't you go cry to your wife then? Oh, that's right. She left your worthless stinking ass. You son of a bitch! Yeah, wow. he just kills the guy. Anyways, that was the unmarked quest of Keith's Caravan Charade. Ooh, wow. Now, we've made it roughly nine minutes into the video, and we haven't even visited the New Vegas Strip yet. Vault 21 is located at the back end of the New Vegas Strip, and everyone knows that it is the home of one of the few snow globes within the game. Yep. But did you know that this snow globe is located within the room of Sarah Weintraub, who is actually one of the few available romance partners for the yes, player? I did. However, unlocking this ability requires the completion of the unmarked quest, Suits You, Sarah. This quest is unlocked through the dialogue with Sarah, where she'll claim to sell all loads of vault -Tec goodies before breaking down and exposing the truth of her gift shop. She has no vault suits. All the popular stuff has been sold, especially the vault suits. I need to find more because people buy them like hotcakes. So we, the player, must go out into the various vaults and locate 30 various iconic jumpsuits for our yeah. fair maiden. Upon recovering all 30 and bringing them back to Sarah, she'll offer the player some spicy dialogue, to which you're granted with a short cutscene and that typical fade to black. I have a feeling that this one is more known than I think it is, just because I could picture yeah, a bunch of you guys googling the various romance partners of Fallout New Vegas and stumbling across this quest. Hey, the boomers! I love the boomers Inside the line. boomers base up at Nellis, we can find a small schoolhouse that is used to raise and educate the younglings of the boomers yeah. population. Here, if we have seven or more charisma, we can actually strike up a conversation with the kids and get some unique dialogue for each and every one of them. What's even more interesting is that if you have a plethora of toy rockets or dinosaurs, you can offer them to the kids as a toy, with their own unique dialogue and reaction. You can even offer this one kid a psycho, but I don't have to tell you that that's a bad idea. This is the unmarked quest named Malleable Mini Boomer Mines, but it's not the only quest hidden inside this schoolhouse. 
If we talk to the only child here not named Mini Boomer, known as Lindsay, we can actually receive a quest named Bear Necessities. Lindsay has a small bear named Mr. Cuddles who unfortunately went missing one day. I don't think I've ever been able to find, to find Mr. It. Cuddles. She leaves us a note which is a bit shit. But if you know where to look, you could find him uh, later amongst some crates in the main hangar where Royal and Jack usually hang out. If we return to Lindsay, we can either give her back the bear and gain some boomer fame, or we could tell her that Mr. Cuddles died. No! Not Mr. Cuddles! Yeah, that would be bad. Novak! The final quest of this video no is vacancy. honestly just something else entirely. Not only did I not know about this quest until fairly recently, but it what? has slowly became one of my favorite interactions in the entire Fallout series. I'm talking about the secret Nightkin Brahmin quest over at Novak. If you arrive at Novak oh, yeah. and speak with either of the two ugliest have to do that one. town, being that of Jeannie Crawford or Novak, you can gain some slight intel that the McBrides are having some sort of nocturnal issue. If we then speak with Dusty McBride, we can figure out that their small brand of Brahmin, seated near their house, have been getting preyed on almost every night. This quest is solved in a pretty basic way. We can just wait until midnight to see what exactly is happening, before eventually a stealthed up nightkin will appear and do this. Stop talking to me! Not exactly the quietest approach. Then, if we follow this nightkin, we can find it's been hiding behind this small rock this entire time. There is no way to interact with this nightkin, unfortunately. The only way to advance this quest is to kill them. Doing so will drop a small holotip named The Screams of Brahmin, which is also what this unmarked quest is called. This holotip doesn't play any audio, instead it leaves us with a description of what's on it, being that of most of what is recorded here is a mess of incomprehensible psychotic gibberish. It seems to express a general frustration towards a set of Brahmin who are allegedly keeping the author awake at night by screaming inside his head whenever he closes his eyes. The Brahmin are saved and we can return to Dusty where we will receive a measly 75 caps but a nice set of 10 Brahmin stakes for our troubles, <coughs> finishing off one of the best short interactions in the game of Fallout New Vegas. Now, I did miss out a lot of unmarked quests that I'm sure some of you would have loved to see, like the Golden Pimp Boy 3 Billion or the now infamous unmarked quest of shooting the Boulder City Memorial, but I am curious to hear what quests you guys believe should have made this video, so feel free to let me know by commenting down below. Also make sure good. to subscribe as it lets me see what content you guys like and also lets you see when I upload a new video. I'm thinking about making a video topic like this for Fallout 3 and Fallout 4, but as always, I've been at Jabo with more content to come real okay. soon. I'll see you guys next time and goodbye. Ranch. So Sloan, Brooks Ranch. Aerotech. I mean, cause the, uh, the, that one small, like, that uh unmarked quest i didn't know about uh, but the uh, other ones i did um yeah that was pretty good um uh, go see it's, it's jabbo uh for more good stuff like subscribe and share um i hope you enjoyed this one um be safe be happy be healthy i love you all and i'll see you in the next one